What we do have is some nice new features. Some of these come from third parties and some of these are directly used inside of Edius. So first thing would be adjustment clips. An adjustment clip is a clip that you can stick over another clip and then use it to adjust everything underneath it. So normally you take a clip and you put an effect on it like you'd put some color correction on it, like so, whatever. All that's obviously exactly the same as before. With an adjustment clip, what you do is you just come in here and all I'm doing is the usual sort of right clicking on a track saying new clip and then adjustment clip and it puts in a clip here. And just in the same way that it's always done, if I marked in and out point around that said new clip, it would make me an adjustment clip that matches the clip below it or wherever these in and outs are. So nothing's happened so far, but now I can put a color correction on that and then adjust it and it will affect the clip underneath it. And now I've got two color corrections on there. Obviously it's a complete mess. So now I've done my color correction on there. I don't need the one underneath it. So I'll just dump it, go back to this and adjust it to be slightly better. So now my color correction on this clip is being done by the adjustment clip. Now so far, so exactly the same. You might say, why would you want to use an adjustment clip? It gives you more options. So for example, suppose these two clips were filmed with exactly the same camera at exactly the same day, and I want to put the same color correction on all of them. I can put an adjustment clip over all of them. Now I've got the same color correction on both clips and I can just adjust that without having to adjust these. And obviously this could be over hundreds of clips. It could be over your entire timeline. Let's add in another track, bring in another clip, put that on top, maybe even take a layouter and shove it up in the corner. So I've now got a combination of two clips together, but the adjustment clip is affecting all of them. So all of these clips are getting exactly the same effects. If I wanted to as well, I could take that and I could fiddle with the layouter or if you have a transform on there or whatever, and I can take that and shove it up in the corner. Now that same motion path again is affecting all the clips below it. And there's loads and loads of uses for adjustment clips. Now I'm not going to use them exclusively because I find there's plenty of times when I would just want to put an effect on a particular clip. But in this case, I mean, all this interview stuff was filmed at the same time probably want to put the same color correction over the lot. So I'd put one adjustment clip on the top. And then if I wanted to change the color correction, I would come to that and I would just change the one color correction effect on that. And it would affect all the clips as opposed to having to go through them one at a time. And of course you can have several adjustment clips. Suppose I've done that and then, well, let's do the whole timeline. Let's put a new, say new adjustment clip on that. Maybe I'll go off and find some kind of uh, film grain effect. So let's take the old movie effect and whack it on there. I'm going to turn off dust and hair and scratch and noise. Just put a bit of film grain on, get rid of the flicker and the jitter and all the other stuff, but just put a bit of film grain on it. That's now a bit of grain that's going through the entire timeline rather than having to put it on individual clips or rather than having to nest it and then put it on the nest. A lot of other programs have got this. They've just added it into Vegas as well. Just a really useful thing to have as an option. And just like in other programs, not every effect works properly on an adjustment clip. Another thing I've seen people doing in edits, particularly I saw this with somebody who was doing a premiere edit, all his grading was done on adjustment clips. So he had a whole line with just adjustment clips over the top of the clips, and then he could show the client what it looks like before and after just by toggling the track on and off. So lots and lots of uses for them. Nice thing to have inside of Edius.